and welcome spring, first official day of spring. I'd like to spend the next few minutes talking about some of the accomplishments and activities of the Lake Huron Technical Committee membership. And I'm going to highlight activities and accomplishments for the 2015 year. Lake Huron, it's still the middle lake, but it's certainly not the forgotten lake. It is the center of incredible ecological change and paradigm shifts. We stand in awe. Sea lamprey. We're seeing the lowest levels of sea lamprey abundance in 30 years. Need I say more? I won't, because Paul Sullivan will. But incredible results from coordinated, enhanced sea lamprey control, and we're starting to reap dividends. Prey fish assessment. Prey fish abundance remains very low. We do not see any recovery of alewives, and rainbow smelt are at near record low levels of abundance. Additional options for goby sampling. Are we getting an accurate indication of goby abundance? In 2015, we started investigating additional options for sampling round goby, trying to get a more accurate picture of how important this prey species is to the Lake Huron fish community. Lake whitefish. Abundance and recruitment is in decline, and it has been for the last decade. The mechanisms responsible for reduced recruitment have still not been elucidated, but are being pursued. The development of a lake-wide stock status scoring criteria has been in the works. This is an effort to give a more holistic, lake-wide perspective of lake whitefish dynamics, and also to assist in better management regulations and options. Cisco. There was a pilot project conducted in the Laetian O Islands in 2015 to investigate the feasibility of adult and gamete collections for restoration efforts in the Saginaw Bay area. We've gained genetic insights into diversity of Cisco, hoping to get a, a better perspective on which root sources should be used for restoration efforts. And in 2015, the Lake Huron Technical Committee started investigating or developing an operational plan in order to go from a, an experimental approach to a production level fish culture approach for Cisco reintroduction into Saginaw Bay. Lake trout. The strategy for reducing lake trout stocking has been formally approved by the Lake Huron Committee, and currently the Lake Huron Technical Committee is formula formulating specific recommendations to look at the feasibility of reduced lake trout stocking in strategic locations in Lake Huron. A number of genetic studies have indicated the prominence of Seneca Lake strain in recent wild reproduction. And also, uh, the technical committee has been working on standard, a standardized data template for coated wire tagged lake trout. There is a large database that's available on the lake, and this is an attempt to acquire this information and have it available in a format that is uh, available to the participating agencies. Walleye. A Saginaw Bay walleye simulation model has been produced and decision analysis has been used to develop a number of management options that are striving to maintain 
the sustainable harvest of walleye in Saginaw Bay, but looking at opportunities for enhancing that harvest with the intent of improving conditions for yellow perch. GLaDOS continues to shed light on spawning site fidelity and survival in walleye in primarily the Saginaw Bay area. And 2015 was the year in which the Upper Great Lakes Management Unit embarked on a five-year strategic assessment plan in Ontario waters for walleye with the intent of acquiring more robust information on stock dynamics and distribution primarily in eastern Georgian Bay and the North Channel. Sturgeon. A lot of work is being conducted on sturgeon, both management and research oriented, and a lot of this work can be found on the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's uh, website, which is indicated here on the slide. The St. Mary's River is the focus of continued management efforts. The fish community objectives for the river are nearing completion. We're at the final stages of revising the FCOs and a number of habitat proposals have been put forward to look at rehabilitating compromised habitat within the river system and you can find those um, proposals on the Great Lakes Fishery Commission website as indicated. The technical committee has been actively involved with uh, supporting the Lake Huron partnership by providing contributions to the State of the Lake Huron workshop that was held in Alpena in the fall of last year. Our members continue to contribute to the Lakewide Management Plan and the Coordinated Science and Monitoring Initiative, which is scheduled to take place on Lake Huron in 2017. And finally, Lake Huron Fish Community objectives are being reviewed. They're 20 years old. A lot has transpired over that 20-year time frame and it's about time that we had those FCOs updated. There is a first draft that has been produced which will be reviewed by the Lake Huron Committee and the Lake Huron Technical Committee and I'm sure there will be a number of workshops and a fairly extensive consultative process that will take place to review and approve new and improved fish community objectives for Lake Huron. And I would like to conclude by acknowledging the Lake Huron Technical Committee membership and thank them for their uh, continued commitment and dedication to the aquatic resources of Lake Huron. Thank you. <laughs>